is Zachary Horn with Clean Code Studio. Clean Code, Clean Live. Today, let's learn some PHP 7.4. All right, guys. So this is actually going to be our third lesson on PHP 7.4, but we're going to stay in shorthand functions. Um, so another really cool feature of shorthand functions is that it allows you to access variables from outside the scope of the callback function. So, for example, if we were to do add 5 equals 5, and then we just wanted to get the person ID, and then we wanted to do plus add 5, well, if we do it in our old one, in our old longhand version of uh, PHP callback functions, it's going to give us this red thing, because add 5 is out of the scope of that function. So check this out. We're going to reload this. Undefined variable add 5. To pass add 5, the variable add 5, into the scope of an, a longhand PHP callback function, we'd have to use add 5. And that gives this function access to the variable outside its scope, which is add 5. Now it works. But if we're using shorthand functions, <laughs> this is so cool. If we're using shorthand functions, it works just like JavaScript if you're familiar with JavaScript. Shorthand functions actually automatically have the scope of variables outside of them. So, in contrary to use add 5, return add 5 in the longhand function in PHP, in a shorthand function, we can just do person ID plus add 5. Don't have to use it. We don't have to tell, hey, yo, function, you need this variable in your scope use the variable in your scope. We don't have to do that. In a shorthand function, all we need to do is just use the variable. So to prove this, we go back, reload it, same exact thing. And uh, yeah, guys, that's another really cool feature of shorthand functions is that they can access variables outside of their scope without us needing to implicitly use those variables that are outside their scope. Simple.